What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm cruising with MJ, and I hope you guys are doing great. As you can see, I've just gone on the Carnival Sunrise by all the vlogs I've been putting out. I'm probably, I don't know if I'm gonna put this out after all the vlogs are out, if I'm gonna put it out. Today is a, today's a Friday, so I know I'm gonna put it out today. Or tomorrow after all six, seven vlogs are out. So... Today, I just wanted to come here and tell you the top five things I liked, I loved about the Carnival Sunrise, and later we'll do the top five things I didn't like or hated about the Carnival Sunrise. Now, the Carnival Sunrise alone, none of this is going to have to do with the COVID protocols or anything, because that's not what the ship's about. If there wasn't COVID, I wouldn't be talking about uh, it was enjoyable with the mask. It was, though. But, we're just gonna talk about regular stuff about the ship. I hope you guys can hear me. I should put my microphone in. But, uh... So, number five. We're gonna go from... Number five, four, three, two, one. Okay, number five. Then, the fifth thing... The mo fifth thing I most loved... Was... I think... I like the shops. The shops was the fifth most thing. Um, because, or fifth floor, whatever you want to say. Um, sorry, it seems like I don't even know what I'm saying, but the fifth floor was, uh, the fifth best thing, fifth floor. <laughs> but, uh, because it had all the shops, and I loved the shop, and I loved to get the souvenirs. I got the cruise ship souvenir. Review video on that later, and I'm gonna review it to all the other ships. I got that, I got... A uh, water bottle, I got a hat for half off at the candy shop. They had some half off stuff, merchandise. Got some candy. <laughs> the arcade was on the fifth floor, too. I uh, saw that in the vlog. Or if it's not out yet, you will see that. Um, I think I took some videos of the shops. Um, What other shops? Uh, Oh, there's the lounge, the limelight lounge. It's not a limelight lounge, liquid lounge. One of them where they do the big shows. Um, it's four and five, so it's, uh, it counts five, but. We have the Red Frog Pub. There's the casino. Oh, uh, well, I don't do the casino. <laughs> but, uh, it was nice when you had the mask on and you go through the casino. You don't gotta smell the smoke as much. But, uh, we got the Red Frog Pub where they did karaoke. And they didn't have any Bon Jovi. <laughs> so I didn't do Bon Jovi, but, uh, I did do karaoke. So... Yeah, they have, uh, one of the comedy clubs not on five, but you gotta go through five to get there. You gotta go through the elevators, go down, and then let go. Always so you don't have to go through the dining room. So yeah, that was, that was good, and the comedy shows were good, and then they had the Heath show, they had all the other shows. We'll get to the shows, that's one of my favorite things later on the list. So yeah, number five is the shops, floor five. Now, entertainment, which I guess is shows we're gonna do. Number four. Now, this also includes singers, bands, uh, that perform at, like, the Red Frog Pub and stuff. And this one guy, I believe his name was Darren. He was Australian. I might shrimp on the ball, but you know I love Australian. Um, so it was nice that uh, I actually, you know, cool to meet somebody Australian. So he sang, he did sing Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. I requested it. So that was really cool. They had the Sunrise Band. They were supposed to be rock, but it wasn't really rock. Um, I guess they took some songs and kind of made them more upbeat. Uh, they were still good. The show's really good. They had Soulbound with the playlist cast. That was like a spooky thing, but it was R&B music. And then they had uh, Vintage Pop. They put like a 20 style on it. Not 2020. 1920 style on it. and But did like uh, John Legend, Bruno Mars, all that stuff. They did 24 Karat Magic. That was good. They also had the Heath Show. Now, this guy, he's not like a regular comedian. He does, like, impressions of Southern people, impressions of reporters. He, like, does, turns into Elvis. He does all this crazy stuff. He's really funny. He's, like, next-tier comedian. Uh, neat tier Neat. So, yeah. That was good. Um, I'm trying to think of any other shows they had. Not really, um, obviously, I know, I know there's another show, a welcome aboard show, 
That was good. But they only had one thing where they would let people up. They had uh, the marriage show. Obviously, I didn't go to that. <laughs> but they had the Hasbro show. They didn't have the Hasbro show, which I've always wanted to go on. But they didn't have it, I guess, because of COVID. But some, uh, I think the Horizon had all these shows still on it. But that's all right. They had the Welcome Aboard show. That was fun. I met Felipe a couple times. Woo -woo. He used to be on the Victory. Now he's on the Sunrise. So, yeah, that was fun. Um, I remembered him from the last, uh, Victory, which was the last cruise I went on before this year, which is my first cruise back since COVID, so that was good. So, that's the fourth best thing, the shows. Third best thing is the activities. This includes mini golf, it also includes events, like activities like good for St. Jude, all that stuff. Activities and events is the third best thing. So we're at the top three now. Good for St. Jude, I always do that. In 2017, the first cruise I went on, I got probably got like 10 of these shirts now. First cruise I went on, it was white, and now it's a gray. But you know, you're supporting a good cause, and it's a pretty good shirt. Um, so that's the good thing. Um, they had the ice thing, they did it in an angelfish, I think that's the vlog coming out tomorrow, no, Jamaica's coming out tomorrow, or if I, if I upload this today, then that is coming out tomorrow, but it might already be out, they did the angelfish, but I didn't get it great in my vlog, angelfish ice sculpture, that's really cool, they were saying it was Nemo, but Nemo's clownfish, uh, mini golf, I played at least a hunt, more than a hundred times, I made a hole in one on all nine holes. I made lots of hole in one, maybe a hundred hole in one, at least fifty. But uh, all of, yeah. So I played like a thousand holes probably, <laughs> but at least it's free. I played, yeah. I made all nine holes hole in ones. I don't think I ever done that, so that's cool. Obviously, entertainment, other activities. There wasn't uh. Fun day at sea, they, obviously they had the welcome award party. I was down there dancing like Josh Hokum. But, uh, somebody 10,000 subscribers was on my cruise actually recording it. So, it's a blurry video. I don't know if I'm in it. I think I am. You can't see me, but that's pretty cool. It's like a Miami. It's like stuff in Miami. So, that's cool. But, uh, other entertainment stuff, I'm trying to think <laughs> off the bat. I should have put some notes down for this video. But, obviously... The shows are also entertaining. Well, I'm not doing entertainment. Activities. Activities they had. Well, they had the arcade. I guess that's activities. Um. Events. They had. I guess they had the a build a bear. I don't do that. One time I wanted to build a bear group for St. Jude. For free. And I think it was the magic of the breeze. Um. But mostly the activities. Obviously they didn't have as much activities. They didn't have the hairy chess contest. And that stuff. They had, like, uh, the Fun in the Sun games. They had a sports square. I was gonna do the thing, because, uh, you know, like, the thing you walk on like that. Um, obstacle course, because they had the thing you go out on. It's not really over the ocean. Uh, but I never did it, because I was just playing mini golf the whole time. Not the whole time on the cruise, but when I could have done it. Um, they're supposed to have, like, a Michael's Art activity, but I checked. They didn't have it. So, uh... In sports where they had pool, basketball, soccer, they had some, they, well, obviously they had a gym and they had the outdoor, like, equipment, like, the pulley thing and different stuff, like walkers. So that was cool, but, uh, yeah, that's, like, the activities and events that they had. And it was pretty fun. It was really fun. So, yeah. Second best thing. Second best thing, you know, it's the food. Usually I put that first, but there's something else in first. Second best thing was the food. I haven't even included any ports yet. But, um, yeah. So second best thing was the food. I eat, ch like, chili dog every night. One day, like, two or three. Probably, like, five to seven chili hot dogs with beans every night. Um, um, so, yeah. You'll see, you'll see that in one of the vlogs, but, uh, uh, they had shrimp, they had quesadillas, I also ate some of those in the ports, quesadillas, and like, um, oh, ten quesadillas the whole cruise, it on the ports, <laughs> so that was good, but that, it was really fun, like, the cruise was really fun, and the food was really good, they had omelets every day, that's what I get for breakfast every day, 
Mostly burgers, uh, which you see in all the vlogs every day for lunch. Pork one day. And then, for dinner, I just had the buffet mainly. I had some pizza, too. <sighs> At night, I had, like, hot chocolate and stuff. I had a virgin mango drink, mango strawberry. One in uh, Jamaica and one on the cruise. So, yeah, those were really good. Um, it includes drinks, too. I got the orange passion fruit guava juice, which I love on the cruise. Um, I got iced tea every day. I mix iced tea, lemonade, and water. It's really good. You gotta try it. Um, it's called the MJ. You know, like, they got the Arnold Palmer. It's like iced tea and lemonade. I had water, so it's the MJ. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, you guys can try that next time you go on a carnival cruise or anywhere. So, yeah. Uh, the food was amazing. So, now we're gonna get... Also, they had cinnamon buns for breakfast and, like, the moose cake for dinner. So, it was really good. And lunch. Now we're gonna get to number one, which was drum roll, please. Three, two, one. The ports. Oh my goodness, Jamaica was the best day I've ever had on a cruise. Jamaica is was always my favorite place. I've only been there once before. Now, now I've been there tw two times, and it was my favorite, and it's still my favorite place to go. Bimini was pretty nice too. Let's do Jamaica first, cause that's where I went first. Hmm. So, Jamaica, it was amazing. We got a really good deal. We were able to, there's a swimming, it was a Margaritaville. It's, there's a, it's a little beach, so it was really nice, better than the big beach. The big beach had nobody on it, and last year we went, not last year, 2019 Christmas, the day, uh, Christmas Eve. There's like nobody on it, so it's better to go to the smaller beach. Um, something about to get really exciting. But, uh, it was fun. Yeah, there's a slide in the pool. I did that a couple times pretty fast faster than the ones on the ship Okay, oh, yeah ship had slides too. That was fun, but That was a good thing and then you know what you know what And then in Jamaica they had this really cool water trampoline Water trampoline if you follow me on like you already saw this water trampoline here Water trampoline there, thing you gotta get across. One little straight thing is circular, and then two on the bottom. You've probably seen it, it's floating. Uh, I screwed it across it. One time I made it halfway running. At the end, people were making it running, but it was really fun. I, I did that all day. It was super fun. And then we saw, like, the party boat go out. Um, yeah, I ate some quesadillas. Um, we, we, we didn't really look around Jamaica. Because there were some shops where we were. I got a bucket hat with Bob Marley on it. So that was really cool. I don't know why the camera is going out. But um, that was really fun in Jamaica. Yeah, the water trampoline. And the water was nice. By the end of the day, it was to like right here. So yeah, it's about four, five feet probably. Because I'm like five, seven. So yeah. That was really fun. It was a really fun day. One of my it is my favorite day on a cruise because it still is on the cruise. And in a port. So now let's get to in the beach. The sand was nice. Now let's get to Bimini. Bimini is in the Bahamas. If you didn't know that, it's only 80 miles from Bi Miami. See, Miami's right here. And then Bimini's right there. I don't know which way it is, but um, you can actually take from Miami a boat. Two hours. You take a boat, and it takes you to Bimini from Miami. It's really cool. I mean, it's like not like one of those ferry boats. It's it's kind of big. Like I guess there's places to sit and whatnot. Maybe a little diner or something. Seems pretty cool though. I might have tried that one day. But Bimini, uh, not a great uh, um, you know I don't know if you guys care about the prices, but it's like sixty five, seventy dollars for two chairs. Um, it's great, and it didn't include the pool. Didn't include the pool either. Jamaica fifty five dollars included the pool. The sand was nice. I got stung by a jellyfish. Um, right, right there. I got stung by one big jellyfish a few years ago, where I live, and then right there, uh, two days on Wednesday. So yeah, that was great. <laughs> Didn't hurt too bad, but there's a lot of jellyfish, so I was bound to get stung, and it took me all day, like five hours, to get stung. Not that I wanted to, but it was fun. Eh. 
Um, I didn't have to look around and my dad the inside just was able to play in the water freely. Then I got stung. But there's some rocks, like take pictures and stuff. A little tram took you. Nice beach to walk across. At the end, there was nobody. We found a lot of those cool, like, shells you can hear into. But I don't think we could hear into them. It was really... Oh, uh, them was pretty nice. We didn't go to any shops or anything. I think there was some, but we didn't go to them. So, yeah, overall, the cruise was great. N coming out, I'll have things I didn't like. But uh, it might not be five things, because I really like the cruise. Uh, that might have to do with um some COVID stuff. I don't know. But it was a great cruise. It was fun. I hope you guys enjoy all the vlogs. I hope you guys enjoy this video. You guys, I'd recommend the Carnival Sunrise. Not a big, big ship, but it's a nice ship if you're just looking for a small cruise. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I love the Carnival Sunrise. Hope you guys love the vlogs. And have an amazing day.